So context is everything. Um, there are more ways to skin a cat, I know. So shooting from retention, there's a lot of different ways of doing it from a knee. Uh, this qual is based off of what our officers have to, uh, I guess standards by which they have to qualify. Okay. So context is everything. Uh, we have it up on the net so that they can get to it. Uh, the names of the company or a contractor, there. we don't put them out there for OPSEC, but you know, it's open information for everybody. All right. So let's talk about the first stage. Shooting from retention or bent elbow, uh, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, thing is, our guys, you know, you officers have to wear a vest, so we can't do certain methods of shooting from retention. One being the simple bladed, this number, or even this number, um, without having to go through a bunch of your gear. Okay? Uh, some of you guys keep your lollipop right there. There's a couple different um, things, your baton, whatever, right? So the simplest way to get over that 
is to not square up because if your gun comes up, your finger lines up uh, about yeah, quite a bit outside of the five ring. So if you take a simple half step to the left, gun comes up, bang. Okay. Uh, presentation is everything, whether it's within one and a half yards, the 15 yard marker, get that gun out of there as fast as you can so you have more time on that sight. Um, or in this case, your, your index position. Okay? And this is not a presentation. Breaking that bail and then going to your gun is not a presentation. It goes in one clean motion. So you break the bail, gun comes up, bang. Okay. So let's go through the steps. First stage is going to go over shooting from retention. On the beep, draw fire one round from retention or bent elbow is what they call it. So here we go. On beep, support hand comes up high on the chest for safety reasons. You don't want to torch that thing. At the same time, you don't just leave that flinging around down here because whatever this hand's doing translates to that front sight. So beep, gun comes up, round goes off. You adjust your aim with your elbow. You can dip, go higher, bring the elbow higher, then the shot goes lower, vice versa, okay? So the first round went exactly where I wanted it to go. I can see the hit so I can make the adjustments, which brings me to the next one. Two rounds in two seconds. So beep, break the bail, gun comes up, shots ring out, okay? I can see the holes if they start shifting to where I don't want them to go. I can adjust as I'm sending the rounds. The third part of that is three rounds. So it's important to watch and index accordingly. So beep, break the bail, gun comes up. Okay. And recover. Key here is to break that bail. If you do not defeat that retention, you will not be within time. Second stage, three yards, three rounds within three seconds. Okay. So on the beep, gun comes up, send three rounds. You're not trying to send control pairs. You don't have to cloverleaf in that center, just stay in that five ring. The key to this is get behind the gun to mitigate that recoil. So on beep, break the bail, gun comes up. Okay. You gotta do that twice. So I personally, what I like to do is send the first round so I know that I'm indexed correctly and then I'll just double tap it. I'm at three yards, right? As long as you're punched out and locked in place, just drive that gun, it'll go where you want it to go. So again, one more time, beep. Alright. Okay, at the seven yard, you start with the Mozambique, failure to stop, two to the chest, one to the head. The key here is to get a nice clean presentation, explode out of that holster, get to center mass, and then find that headshot. Right, thread that needle. So on beep, find that headshot, bang, finger off. Right, then again from the high ready. Then go down and check the headshots. Good go. Next, you'll have 10 seconds to draw fire three rounds with two hands. That's the easy part. Then you're going to transition to your strong hand only. If you do not transition, you will be DQ'd. Three and three. So on beep. All right. Next, you do the same thing except transition your support hand only. So Three two-handed, transition your support hand only, and fire three. Again, remember to transition. Okay. 
Now when you're shooting one-handed, there are four ways to fire from each side. So actually a total of eight, if you're counting them all together. You could square up and then have your gun straight. That's one. Or square up and cant the gun. We're not gangbangers. So just cant it enough to feel that tension in this arm. Next, you can blade straight out or blade with it canted. That's four methods on that one side. Same thing goes for your support hand. Now, just because you like it that one way for your strong hand side may not be the same for your support. And the key is to practice this. It's very important uh, to practice because, you know, a lot of times guys don't practice, guys and gals, don't practice their support hand as frequently as they should. All right, we're at the big bad 15 yard marker. Um, can be a little intimidating, but just trust the fundamentals and you'll be just fine. All right, see this little guy over here? Pretend that's what you're shooting at. Often it feels like our front sight is doing this. When all reality, this is all it's doing. All right, the key is not to stay out there too long. So on beep, again, explode out of that holster. Your presentation is the same at one and a half yards as it is at 15 yards. So you can spend more time on that front sight. So beep, gun comes out, find that front sight, finger on the trigger, take up the slack, boom, gun goes off. Find that front sight, reset, front sight confirmed, take up slack, bang. Nothing else changes, okay? So on this stage, it's important that you have to set up your gear for this one because it, there's a slide lock reload. So five in the mag, one in the pipe. Again, the beginning of the stage, five in the magazine and one in the chamber. Okay, that way after six rounds, you go to slide lock, down to a knee, reload, and six rounds on a knee. You have a total of 25 seconds to complete the whole thing. It used to be 10 seconds for the six rounds, and then down on slide lock, load, five seconds, and then another 10 seconds for your six rounds. Kept it simple, just total 25 rounds, get it all done. All right, here we go. So on beep. It comes up, front sight. Slide lock, down to a knee. Reload. So on the final stage, we are utilizing cover, and the key to utilizing cover is to actually utilize it. So you do not step out away from the barricade, or you do not crowd the barricade. Distance yourself enough that you can still work when you're down on a knee, and come out just enough to find the target of opportunity. So one stride to the rear, one stride to the right, You'll have 20 seconds to complete this. Two rounds standing, two rounds on a knee. So utilize that time wisely. We don't dictate when to present. You can present on the way to cover or once you're there, that's up to you. So on beep, come up. Stage behind cover, roll out, finger on the trigger. Front sight, that goes off. Front sight, reset, that goes off. Back behind cover. Down to a knee. Roll out just enough to see my target. Gun goes off, reset, gun goes off. Finger off and I'm back in. Stage behind cover, roll out, finger on the trigger. Front sight, gun goes off. Front sight, reset, gun goes off. Back behind cover, down to a knee. Roll out just enough to see my target. Gun goes off, reset, gun goes off, finger off, and I'm back in. Now the last part of the qualification is to do that from the left side of the barricade, and it's not required to change hands. Um, I prefer to do that because it presents less of a target, but if that's not something you practice, on the qualification is not the time to try it, okay? One stride to the rear, one stride to the left, on beep.
That's 50 rounds. You should be empty. Let's see how we did. All right, guys. So the first time I went through the qual, uh, I ran it with a shot timer by myself. The second time, I ran the same qual uh, with you guys and narratives in between. Just the biggest takeaway from the qual is to practice fundamentals and master that presentation. Uh, yes, yeah, shooting at distance or one-handed can be challenging, but you guys are all issued spiral and bail systems. So understand that you have to break and defeat that bail. You have to defeat that on the grip. So on beep, come in, break, and then clear the system. Doing this is not going to make you successful for the qual. And don't just start practicing right before you qualify, okay? Uh, today is about 8 to 9 degrees, uh, good old November Alaska weather. You can do dry fire at the house. Dry fire is key to all this. Master that presentation. Uh, check your kit. If you got your lollipop here, your baton and OC all in the way, you might want to shift it. Um, again, for safety reasons first, but also master that presentation, and if there's anything else getting in the way of that, well, that's on you, right? You want to keep it safe. Um, and for the sake of all this, go through the fundamentals, master that first, and then worry about a score.